Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to continue our conversation about comparing measures of center. If you missed our video with the explanation of that, make sure you go watch that first and come back here. So we're going to look at this example. Which measure of center best describes a typical entry for the following salary data from a local business? So here we have five salaries, 28,000, 28,000, 35,000, 38,000, or 100,000. So we're gonna go ahead and calculate all three of our known measures of center, mean, median, and mode, and determine which of them seems to show us the most typical data and talk about why. So let's start with the mean. To calculate the mean in this case, which is gonna be our X bar, we would add up all of our data values and divide by how many there are, which is five. So that would be 28,000 plus 28,000 plus 35,000 plus 38,000 plus 100,000. And then all of that divided by five. That gives us 45,800 as our average. So our mean data value or our mean salary for this is $45,800. Checking out our second measure of center, which is our median, our median is our middle. So our data values are already in numerical order. So we start crossing them off one at a time from each end. So we've got our smallest and largest crossed off, our next two in crossed off, and since we do have an odd number of data values, we've got one left over in the center, that's our median. So we've got 35,000 is our median. And then finally, we have our mode. So our mode is whatever data value or values occurs most often, if there is one. In this case, out of this sample, we see 28,000 is repeated twice. All the others only occur one time, so our mode is 28,000. Okay, now we've got all three of our measures of center. Now the question becomes, which of them describes our data best? So if we kind of take a holistic look, does it appear that the mean of 45,800 describes a typical salary for people working at this company? To me, it doesn't really, because 45,800 would fall right here. So that means four out of the five data values that we have are below that, and one is significantly above that. So really what has happened here is this very large salary of 100,000 has pulled that mean up higher than a typical center value. So the mean here really isn't very descriptive. If we consider instead the median, in this case the center value of 35,000, that seems like a much better average or a much better measure of a typical entry. Our lowest entry is only just a few thousand, in this case 7,000 below, and our next entry after that is only 3,000 away. So 35,000 seems like a much better measure of center. Thinking about our mode, mode is almost never the best measure of center. In this case, our mode happens to be our smallest data value, so probably not the best measure of a central or typical value. So because we did have a quite large value up top pulling the mean up, in this case, the median was the best measure of center. All right, guys, that's it for this example. We'll catch you in the next video.